My name is Katherine Maslenikov. I'm the Collections Manager at the University of Washington Fish Collection, which is part of the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture, and also the School of Aquatic and Fisheries Sciences, which is part of the College of the Environment. It's been here for about 20 years in this facility with this system, and it's been wonderful. We've been able to access everything easily, and the rollout tank system is really great because we have a lot of specimens that are really big and don't fit in jars. Um, so you've got to put them in these big tanks and getting into those tanks is really cumbersome if you don't have a nice storage system. So we have 300,000 adults on in jars or tanks on these big uh, compactor units. It's made things very easy for us. We have this very large collection that's just come to us of otoliths, which are little fish bones. They're ear bones from the heads of fishes, and they're used for aging the fish. And recently it's been discovered you can use them for a lot more applications, including uh, assessing the change in ocean chemistry over time. So all of a sudden, lots of different scientific disciplines are interested in this collection. So it's the reason we got this big grant from the National Science Foundation to bring the collection here and make it available to researchers everywhere. Uh, it makes us one of the largest collections, one of the largest fish collections in the world because we now have about 10 million objects here. So the collection itself is transferred from the National Marine Fisheries Service. They've been collecting these bones since the late 1970s and they had a problem because they were all being stored in a large aircraft hangar that had no fire suppression ability. They were stored in styrofoam boxes stacked 20 feet high, so it was a real fire hazard. The Seattle Fire Department told them that they would not fight the fire. If the hangar ever caught on fire, the whole collection would be lost. Now it has, it's crammed full of these amazing compactors that easily roll back and forth 10 feet high, huge high density storage, we're able to fit all of these boxes with plenty of room for growth for several years, for many years, um, and the collection will continue to grow, they're still collecting these actively every year. Uh, the plan to transfer the whole backlog of material that's been sitting at the hangar is about 12,000 boxes, and then we're planning to have at least, I think 17,000 is what we planned for in this room. We will be the center for um, otolith research.